We've talked a lot today about deterring the People's Republic of China. As the chairman said, they've uh, got the largest navy in the world. They are expanding their capabilities. And this is all part of Xi Jinping's plan to dominate the world by 2049. And in some areas, they're outpacing us with regard to their technological capabilities. But one area they cannot do that in is our allies. And that's why this AUKUS agreement is so important. And it's important that we get it right, that we get our ducks in a row to be able to meet the commitment. The Navy has a requirement to have 66 fast attack nuclear submarines to be able to defend this nation. And right now we're sitting at 49, and I think Dr. Carlin, you mentioned that uh, up to 40% are not available or were not available due to maintenance issues, and they've got it up to, now it's down to 33% are not available and they're hoping to improve upon that. But by uh, 2030, we're gonna be dropping down to 46 submarines. And so even adding the additional submarines through availability because of maintenance, you're still not gonna have anywhere close to the 66 submarines. So we're producing, as I think the chairman was pointing out, somewhere about 1.2 submarines, Virginia-class submarines a year. We need to get that up to 2.3, 2.5, maybe three, to be able to do that. So we have to make sure how this is gonna get done. And, my understanding is that uh, some months ago that um, OSD CAPE and the Navy produced a detailed plan for how to meet the funding and funding requirements to how to meet the U.S. and AUKUS uh, requirements. Is that accurate? Has this plan, has this detailed study been done? Senator, there's been a lot of study of, uh, of what we can do to make sure that we are prioritizing uh, this undersea advantage. So CAPE has been done. Cape is done. There, there have, has yeah. been a lot of studying on uh, what we can do to ensure that we are investing as much as possible. Uh, as but has the OSD Cape study been done? Is that done? They, that they have been working on a study. So it's not finished yet, or it's finished? I, I don't think I should represent OSD Cape. So uh, what I will say is that they have been looking very hard at this issue and studying it. And if it is helpful, uh, I would welcome uh, asking my colleagues from that office to well, specifically Well, this is really kind of the crux of the problem, right? Because one of the things that Senator Wicker, myself, and others have asked is, OK, you know, Australia is obviously making a generational investment in their submarine industrial base and ours, and we ought to be doing the same. I agree with you that this is a huge competitive advantage for us. And so the question is, what is that number? What is that number that's gonna take? I think Senator Cardin was asking the same question. You kind of dodged it then too. You know, obviously we, we're, we're grateful that the Australians wanna invest $3 billion. What are we gonna to have to invest to be able to get to 66 submarines? Is that study been done? And if it has been, can it be supplied to Congress? If it's not, when's it gonna be done? That's Sen what we're looking for. Thank you for raising this issue, Senator. You know, as you know, post-Cold War, we closed down a whole bunch of the submarine industrial base and consolidated, given this kind of post-Cold War peace dividend. There has been really important investment by this Congress, by the administration, to try to build it up and to make sure that we can put it in the right places and then see kind of what fruits will go, grow from that in terms of workforce and talent management, in terms of supplies. So there's been a lot, a lot, a lot going in there, and it w is a priority. It will continue to be a priority going forward. Right, but we, okay, I think that, again, when we're talking about how we're going to make this happen, if we want this to be a success, we actually have to have these plans. It's not sufficient just to say we're working on it, and this is part of the concern that some of the folks have. We want to make sure this is a success. I think AUKUS is incredibly important. If we're going to make it a success, we have to know what we're going to be investing, and this is why, you know, is the administration going to ask for a supplemental to be able to do this, and I'll throw that open to any of the panelists. Is the administration going to have a separate sub muddle to start doing this investment? When the, and what would be the timing? And now are we going to get a study? I mean, these are the questions that we'd like to know to be able to make sure this is going to be successful. Does anybody have an answer to that? Senator, we want to make sure that we are robustly sharing information on this topic because we know how important bipartisan congressional support has been in AUKUS and also in investing in our submarine industrial base. That's great. So share the information. That's what I'm saying. I, you, I keep hearing you say you want to share the information, but I'm not getting any informa information uh, here. 
So what's the information? Is, is there a study that says, yeah, this is what we're going to need to do to make Austin success? How much money is it going to cost? I'm expecting it's probably not a, a small number. Uh, Senator, we uh, have been able to share a lot of information, particularly over the last uh, few months, about what we are doing both on AUKUS and the submarine industrial base. Uh, I'm aware of a, approximately 45 briefings or so uh, to members and to staffs uh, over the last seven or eight months. Um, and I would be delighted to take this back uh, and work with colleagues in the Office of the Secretary of Defense to share, share the information that you are requesting. Okay, and, and is there going to be a supplemental from the administration requesting inf uh, more dollars to be able to invest in our submarine industrial base? Uh, I, I'm not able to speak to that at, at this time. I this defer to my colleagues as well. Anybody else know? No, nobody else knows. Okay, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Uh, I will say that uh, whether in public or in classified, if the, if, the, if, the, if the numbers somehow some classified consequence to it, I think the Senate